Hi, Ms. Jordan. How are things going? Uh, pretty well. I know you spoke with my assistant about your diary. Yes, she called me after I sent the diary back and we came up with a schedule of time voiding. Right, that's called bladder retraining. The idea is that we start you off at an interval that I know you can manage. And in your case, we started you off voiding every hour on the hour, even if you don't feel a need to go to the bathroom. Then we recommended that you increase the interval between voids by 15 minutes after five days and then another 15 minutes after another five days and so on until we get you voiding at a normal interval like every three hours. Yes, I'm doing pretty well and I'm currently at two hours between the trips to the bathroom. Honestly, the hardest thing is remembering when to go to the bathroom. Do you happen to own an iPhone? Yes, I do. Why? Well, there, there's, as they say, there's an app for that. Really? Well, it's called the Bladder Tracker, and it's free. You can get it at the App Store on your phone or iPad. How does it work? Well, you can actually use it as a bladder diary as well, but it will remind you when to go to the bathroom with an alarm. Many of my patients use it, and they find it very helpful with bladder retraining. Uh, that's wonderful. I, I hope I can figure it out. It's actually very easy to use. If you have a problem, bring it in, and my assistant can walk you through the instructions. Thank you. I'm also doing my Kegel exercises every day, and you'll be proud of me. I'm down to one cup of coffee a day, and it's decaf. That's wonderful. Have you noticed an improvement in your symptoms? I definitely think I'm better than when I first came in to see you, but I'm still having a lot of urgency, and I still need to wear the pads. What do you think we should do? Should I try the medication? I think that would be very reasonable. De behavioral modification can be effective, but it doesn't work for everyone. It may improve your symptoms, but if you're still bothered by the overactive bladder symptoms, the medications might be your best option. They can reduce the number of leakages that you have. However, you may still need to wear pads. So are the medications safe? Do they have a lot of side effects? Every medication has risks of side effects. The class of medications we use most often, called anticholinergics, have been around for decades. So we have a lot of experience with them. The most common side effect is dry mouth, but rarely is the dry mouth severe enough that people need to come off the medication. Yes, but if I get a dry mouth, I'll drink more water and then I'll have to go to the bathroom more, so is there anything I can do about it? The other issue is that drinking water really will only relieve your dry mouth for a short time, so drinking water really isn't the answer. It's better to use something like lemon drops or sour balls or gum to stimulate your salivary glands. I hope this medication doesn't affect my bowels. I already have some mild constipation. Well, there's a chance that your constipation can worsen, but taking stool softeners helps with that, or a mild laxative from time to time as needed. Dry mouth and constipation are the most common side effects, but other, other side effects may include like dry eyes, headache, trouble emptying your bladder. Some patients may also get confusion or drowsiness, blurred vision, so you shouldn't drive right away until you know how the medication affects you. So how do the medications work? The medications allow your bladder to hold more urine and reduce the sense of urgency that many people have. It may reduce the number of trips to the bathroom. Will it interact with any of my current medications? I'll review your current medications and take that into consideration when prescribing a treatment for you. So how often should I take the medication? Most of the medications are once a day, and, and most people take them in the morning. And how effective is this type of medication? They can improve symptoms, and these medications can be used in addition to the behavioral modification treatments like Kegel exercises, bladder retraining, caffeine reduction. You may see an improvement in your overactive bladder symptoms within a, several weeks, but it may be a month before you really see a notable improvement. Are there other medications if this type of medication doesn't work for me? Yes, there are, there are several different anticholinergic medications, so if one doesn't work, we can try another. There's also another type of medication, but I don't think this is right for you at this time since you do have a history of high blood pressure and it can worsen your blood pressure. So let's try one of the anticholinergics. All right, I I'm happy to try the anticholinergic medication. Okay, Let let's set up a follow-up appointment in another six weeks and we'll see how you are doing.